After the Fall is a four-player co-op shooter in VR where you and your friends embark on an adventure in a frozen dystopian Los Angeles. So in the game, you fight the Snowbreak, which are the enemies of After the Fall. They come in huge numbers. My favorite enemy in After the Fall, I would have to say, the Smasher. He has like a big frozen arm and he's smashing at you, so he kind of runs at you and it smashes like this, and then you're like, oh, I quickly need to get away. of enemies that you can take down and the goal of that is to collect juice which is the uh, currency that we have in this game that you use to upgrade your weapons and become more powerful to tackle higher difficulties. So the guns can be upgraded with a lot of conventional upgrades. Think about scopes, red dot sights, different grips, different stocks. And we have the combat device which is like a small device you can have in either hand or both. It can either like be something that fires missiles. Uh, we have this really cool saw blade device that throws saw blades. We've got one where you like you punch and there's this massive shockwave. Firing weapons in After the Fall is chunky, meaty. We use haptics an awful lot to reinforce the player every movement that they're doing. But that is also reinforced, of course, with audio as well as the visuals. The PSVR 2 supports this headset rumble feature and uh, this is really nice feature to have. For example, we use it when uh, this big juggernaut, he grabs you and he hits you. You really feel the head vibration and you really feel like you're getting hit. So whenever I actually do pull that mag, slap the next one home and charge the weapon, then I really feel that in my hands. Since its initial launch, After Fall has grown so much. We added seasonal updates with new maps, new weapons, and every time we had more players joining the fray. And if you're a new player jumping in on After a Fall, then there is an established community just ready to join you and help you if needed. PlayStation.